Hey guys, back today with a different video. This one is going to be my favorite super tarts that I currently have in my collection. I finished up a lot, and then I just, you know, throw them into the recycling bin. So I don't really keep my favorites, I just write them down. But I wanted to do ones that are my personal favorites that I currently have <clears throat> in my stash. And... Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I recently got some more favorites in my BAM uh, bag order uh, last month, I think it was. So I have some from that, too. But I'm going to do the clamshells first. <clears throat> so first off, I have... Look at those ratchet nails. I have Murder House, which is strawberry rhubarb pie and almond danish. This one's so... I can actually smell a little bit, but this one's a really nice strawberry rhubarb. And then you get that kind of like nutty note from the almond danish. This is really good and a really strong thrower. I would definitely <clears throat> get that in a BAM bag for sure. Silence of the Lambs, which is... Rich Red Chianti, Black Cherry, Blackberry, and Raspberries. I love this one. When I first got it, I was like, ugh, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. And I was like, I mainly got this because Bama Wax Loved recommended it to me. And then I also love the movie Silence of the Lambs. So I was like, oh, I'm going to give it a try. And I tried it out, and this baby throws like a beast with one cube. I really enjoy this, and I would snag that in a band bag. And Mr. Myers, which is Fresh Fallen Leaves, Fireside, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a beautiful Fresh Fall Leaves type scent. This one actually blends really well with uh, the collector, which I won't take credit for that. Somebody on her Super Tarts group posted about that, and I actually really enjoyed that, so I've been doing that ever since. <clears throat> Christmas Vacation. Freshly cut Christmas tree and a spearmint. Oh. Um, Christmas tree and spearmint. You cannot go wrong with that. That's just a really nice, fresh, uh, crisp scent. This is a definitely a one-cuber. Um, it throws super, super strong. I really like that one. Oh, yeah. You guys are welcome for the awesome background. <laughs> my part of my, like, one-third of my candle collection, like, thrown over in this area. I'm really doing pretty good on slimming down those candles, though, so... That's good. Eye Zombie, which is Twisted Peppermint and White Clouds. This is a primarily White Clouds is like a laundry type scent with a slight hint of peppermint, but I feel like it's mainly a nice laundry blend and nice and strong. And I actually, I don't know where that, I actually liked it so much when she offered it recently in band bags, I picked up a band bag in it. Uh, Hedwig, chai tea, creamy cheesecake, and clove. This is so good. I feel like I just want to eat the air when this one's melting, and I love the cute little owl. This one is a nice, um, it's not too overly spicy, but it's, it's pretty strong. It's really good, and I would definitely, when that's eventually offered in, uh, bear bags, would get that too. Notting Hill, which is, I can't read that, Blueberry Muffin, Apple Cider, and Funnel Cake. This, I've only melted one cube though, but this is a hit you out of your house. 10 out of 10. It's so yummy and delicious and strong. A nice apple uh, with that um, bready note from the muffin and the funnel cake. Ugh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, Grandma's House, uh, fresh baked apple pie, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, and creamy brown sugar. I honestly love anything apple pie. Um, I love um, 
<clears throat> super tarts, uh, pie, like apple pie, any of her types of pie scents I really do enjoy. And I actually am considering maybe melting that. Grandma's house, once my nose isn't as uh, full of allergies, I kind of might, I might melt that one. <laughs> um, the Simpsons, which is glazed donuts, root beer, and whipped cream. I think I've gone through like one or two clams of these already. I love root beer scents, as I've said before. I really enjoy this one. It's a nice fizzy, but you get that slight creaminess from it. It's really, really good. <clears throat> Orangey feisty, orange lime and lemon with a uh, sweet birthday cake, and that's exactly what you get. It's a nice fruity, cakey blend. Oh, it's really yummy. I definitely enjoy that one. Um, Snape, which is magically delicious warm sugar cookies dusted with sweet cinnamon sugar. This one is so, oh, so yummy. Um, I love. The sugar cookies dusted with the sweet cinnamon sugar. It doesn't overpower with the cinnamon, but you do get that nice cinnamon kick to it. It's a really beautiful bakery blend. And that one would probably be a two van bag pickup for me. PNW, Raindrops, Sweather, Weather, Birch Beechwood, and Washington Apples. This is just a nice, fresh, clean scent. What I would imagine smelling in Seattle, Washington. Like, standing, or even in Portland, Oregon, just, like, standing in the woods. Um, I've actually been to both of those states, and when I, when I first smelted this, I was like, wow, I feel like I'm actually in the Pacific Northwest. Like, it was a really pretty, um, scent that I actually do have in a band bag. Uh, Thief, Fall Leaves, Mac Apples, Sandalwood, and Blue Sugar. And this one, I primarily get the fall leaves and the mac apple. This is a very strong thrower. Um, one cube is good. <laughs> um, I really... <coughs> I personally enjoy this one a lot. And would actually already have that in the band bag. <laughs> I managed to snag one when it was in a band bag. Hagrid Shaving Cream Tinsel. Which... Mixed berries, vanilla, peppermint, and pomegranate. Hagrid is a nice, clean blend with some fruitiness to it. It's a very beautiful, strong blend. <clears throat> the Collector. Oh my god. I didn't realize in my collection I have like five of these. Blue sugar and sweet peppermint cream. This is really good. Easily a good blend on its own. And then also a good mixer to mix with stuff if your heart desires. All right. Uh, like I said, I enjoy Brandy's apple pie. So this is all American apple pie a la mode. Very nice um, apple pie scent. My f One of my favorite coffees from Brandy is Predator, which is cappuccino and coconut cream pie. You get that coffee that hits you in the face and then you get that creamy note from the coconut cream pie. Oh, it is just out of this world. As soon as I melted my first cube, which was like a month ago, um, I immediately fell in love with it and picked up, I think, like four more clams of it. Um, King Crow, which is uh, snowy peppermint and Abercrombie and Fitch. Fierce. Sexy man scent, which is exactly what it is. I actually, yeah, I have another one here that I actually melted uh, one cube from, and it gave me a great scent throw, and I enjoy that one. Um, I don't necessarily think, like, that one's a band bag for me, but I do enjoy it for what it is, and I will always have a clamshell in my stash. A lot of people's personal favorite, Minerva which is pink sugar and laundry. This is a nice, strong laundry blend with like a nice, subtle sweetness from the pink sugar, which gives a little bit of a feminine kick to it. I love that, and we'll get that in a bam. Harry's Holiday. 
Harry French baguette and blue sugar crystals. Um, so she has a scent called Harry, which is just French baguette. Oh gosh, I forgot. Brain fart. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that's embarrassing, but this one, um, she added the blue sugar to it, and it just gives it a whole nother thing. With Just Harry, it's more of like a bready note, but with this you get like a bready, but like kind of like that manly, musky blue sugar. It sounds really weird, and it sounds like why would you enjoy something like that? But it's great. I really do enjoy that one for what it is. <clears throat> Daryl, which is leather, sugar-dusted blackberries, and sweet cream. Primarily with Daryl, you get the leather, but you do get that, like, random time where, like, you're not even thinking about it. You walk by and you smell, and you're like, what's that sweet smell? Well, that's coming from those blackberries. I love Daryl, and I would get that in a band bag. It's either a love-hate thing. Either people really love it, or they just absolutely hate that scent. Um... I'd have to say this is probably my favorite coffee scent. Impossible Girl Cappuccino Birthday Cake and Cotton Candy. I have finished one clam of this and I've been holding on to this, which is ridiculous, but I'm waiting for this to be available in band bags because I'm going to grab probably two. This is just a nice, um, sweet coffee scent. Really good and hits you in the face for sure. Um, 13 Reasons which I'm probably going to try to finish this because I was hoarding onto this like a ridiculous person until I could get BAMs in it and I managed to stag two BAMs. So now I'm going to enjoy this. It's gardenia, sweet lavender, coconut, tonka berry, teakwood, and a hint of fresh apple. Gardenia scared the crap out of me. Um, I don't like florals too, too much, but I have to say you really get every single scent note in here every single one it's so enjoyable it is a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance and it packs a punch and it lasts a long time okay some more clams whoopsie all right and up to bat jackal Blackberry preserves, zucchini bread, and toasted malo. This is a nice um, zucchini bread with like that sweetness in it from the blackberry preserves. I enjoy that. And that one also packs a nice uh, strong punch to me too. <clears throat> Mia. French baguette, sugar cookie brulee. Blueberry tort and almond marzipan. I love French baguette with fruity scents, um, especially, of course, bakery. This one is so, it's so yummy, but also so pretty, too. It's very strong, and I really do enjoy that one, too. This is definitely one of my top, top fives, I'd say. Super Tarts It. I've talked about this a hundred times on my channel. Orange Zest, Frosted Pumpkin Roll, and Buttery Brown Sugar. This is a nice bake orange bakery um, scent. You see Frosted Pumpkin Roll, but I feel like I could melt this all year round. I think it's um, a fair blend to do all year round. And I just love-hate thing. Either people really love it. Or they think it's disgusting and that orange should not be in, like, <laughs> that should not be mixed together the way it is. Raj, which is frosted cinnamon rolls and pecan pie. This is a nice um, bakery uh, cinnamony scent. It's not too overwhelming on the cinnamon, but you do get it. One that I thought I would not like, but I ended up loving, which is Baba Duke. Cola, pumpkin, ice cream, and what is that one? Frosted cupcakes. I thought cola would be really weird with pumpkin ice cream. I was like, Ugh, that sounds really disgusting. But my curiosity got the best of me, and I decided to purchase it. Well, I don't think scent shots were around then when I purchased this, so I got it in the clam, and I was like, well, if I don't like it, I could just, you know, send it to somebody else who might enjoy it. Well, pfft. 
I ended up melting one cube of it and I was like, oh my God, what is that nice, fizzy, creamy scent? And it was fantastic. And now I have five clamshells later. Shows you guys how much I enjoyed it. The Hills Beechwood Soul SoCal Hollister Rain and Vanilla Sandalwood. This is just a nice uh fresh clean scent. Um ma masculine, of course. There's a masculinity to it. I love this. It's fresh in the bathroom. And it has been a repurchase, not necessarily a bam bag purchase, I would say. Um, but I do like it for what it is. <clears throat> Goosebumps. Ice pumpkin, cupcakes, mac, apple, and homemade biscuits. This one, you primarily get the biscuits with that mac apple. And then that, like, the biscuits and the pumpkin cupcake comes together, makes this fantastic bready note. And then the mac apple just comes and adds a beautiful filling to it. Mama's Family. A lot of people love this one. Blackberry Jam, Gain Laundry Type, and Lemon Curd. I didn't, I thought that that sounded extremely weird to put Gain with Blackberry and Lemon, but let me tell ya. I would have never thought to have ever done that, and that's why I don't make wax. I don't have a creative mind as far as wax like that goes, but this is a really wonderful blend, and I'm glad that I finally reached out of my comfort zone and decided to try that. Paranormal, which is mahogany, teakwood, sequin berries, and sweet tobacco leaf. There's something with the tobacco leaf and the mahogany teakwood that just mixes together, and I just love this. I had it in a scent shot and could not wait to get my hands on more, so I got a clam. I don't know necessarily a band bag worthy product to me, but I do like that one. It's a nice, clean blend and perfect for the bathroom or for bedtime. One of my new personal favorites, very recently, Fresh Herbs, Grapefruit, and Marshmallow Fluff, which is Neville. This one is a nice herbal grapefruit. Um, not necessarily, I don't want to say like a herbal, like a lavender, but like, it's like a clean, um, I don't know how to, I've explained this in my previous empties videos before, but Neville is really worth a try if you like lettuce type blends, herbal blends, anything like that. Ooh, sorry guys. <laughs> I totally just knocked you off. Um, but anyways, sorry about that. Neville is a nice, uh, fresh, crisp scent. If you enjoy those types, I highly recommend you get it. I think they're available currently in scent shots, but I'm not trying to tell you guys to buy. <laughs> Um, La Push, Fresh Raindrops, Sage Leaf, and Orange Peel. This is a really good, fruity, clean scent. Um, I recently purchased this in a BAM bag, and I'm pretty excited about it. This one's really nice. And Killer Clowns. Can't see that. Circus Concession, Coconut Shavings, and Home Cooked Biscuits. The coconut shavings add, like, this, like, nice sweetness to it with the home-cooked biscuits. Oh, my God. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, Bam Bags. This is going to be a little bit harder to show you. Parks and Rec, which is fresh-cut grass, satsuma, and lemon sugar and sprinkles. This is, um, a fruity, fresh... Oh, yeah. That opens your sinuses right up. This is a really, really good fresh cut grass blend with the Satsuma and lemon sugar. It's beautiful. Suits, which is black tie pot and blue sugar. Um, Suits is, I, I've fallen in love with blue sugar scents lately. You get the, you do actually get that slight hint of pot and the blue sugar with the black tie. It's just a nice masculine scent. I really enjoy that one. <clears throat> and then... 
So I have a Ron clan somewhere. I just don't know where it is because Teresa T for two sent me one in a random act of kindness, but I don't know where I put it actually. But I love Ron. Ron is one of my personal favorites. Um, definitely my top, at least top five from the Harry Potter collection. Um, it's like an orange sherbet type set. And look at those cute little mouse melts. They're so cute. Um, I really enjoy Ron. He's a nice creamy orange scent. Good. And Voldemort. Voldemort is... Um, I don't have the set notes for him, but he, I think, has, like, uh, cactus and sea salt and, like, maybe apple or something in him. Um, a very, very fresh, clean blend that's super, super strong. Um, as far as the little hairy melts, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Two I forgot from clamshells. The Lost Boys, which is pomegranate, fresh apple cider, and toasted marshmallows. This is a... Uh, it's a very fruity um, cider scent, but you do get that creaminess from the toasted marshmallows. Oh. That one I could definitely see myself getting some band bags of. And then I also love Hades. It's Fireside and Blue Sugar. Um, the Fireside adds like a slight smokiness to it with the Blue Sugar kind of bringing it down to be a little bit more subtle. These are both uh, wonderful blends, but they're even better together. I used to think Fireside was just... I couldn't do it. Like It was just too gross. But once I started figuring it out being blended with other stuff, it was so much better and more enjoyable to me personally. But I think that's it for my current Super Tarts favorites. I have other Super Tarts, I just haven't melted them yet. But those are the ones that are in my collection that I have melted and enjoyed on warm and both, both warm and cold. Um, but as always, if you guys have any questions, you know the drill. Leave your comment down below and maybe give me some ideas for some videos to do. Um, I try to figure out new things to film and, you know, you know, try to think of things for you guys to watch, but sometimes it's hard. You start to run out of ideas sometimes. So if you guys have any suggestions, just leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next video.